Hey guys, what is going on? It is Kyle. I'm just going to do a quick little unboxing for you. I uh, got my Pro Sport gauges in in the mail today, so uh, I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, I ordered, originally I did a review, um, basically a practice unboxing of a Pro Sport gauge earlier in the month there to you guys. Uh, that was um, a completely digital one. It's, a, it's called the Ghost Gauge. Uh, I went and bought a gauge pod and it was different sizes so it was 60 mil gauges instead of uh, 52 which I had on my previous uh, my previous gauge so this year I went out and I bought three new 60 mil gauge pods so I went and I got a, a boost gauge, an oil pressure gauge and a uh, digital wideband air fuel ratio gauge Pretty excited for, for that there. I got hit with customs, but not very much. It wasn't too bad. It was uh, only a hundred bucks. Actually, not even a hundred bucks. There is going to be styrofoam everywhere. Oh my god. Looking at this here. A little dent in the box here. Not too bad. Not, uh, not touching the gauge at all. Those look good. This is heavy. This is heavy. Alright. Yeah. Okay, so this is just the cabling and stuff. Cabling, the sensor, and then the gauges here. That's pretty cool. This here's your Y band gauge here. Bam. Box within a box within a box. All these boxes. Alright, so looking at the gauges there, that's uh, it's looking pretty good. They're not dented or scratched or anything like that. There's also a little film cover on it. I am super excited to be getting these here in the car. Uh, unfortunately, I won't be doing that for a little while yet because I still have to get my gauge pod, which I'm getting from Ortiz Custom Pods down in, uh, I don't know where that is actually, I can't remember where I ordered it from, but he's on online on Facebook and all that stuff, check him out, Ortiz Custom Pods, and he does all kinds of different uh, um, makes and models of vehicles, so uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited to be getting that in, I'm getting a uh, dash mounted one, so it's going to take over my uh, my original radio uh, dash, um, it's going to be make it a double din dash, which is going to be nice because then I'm going to have to get a a navigation system or a touch screen of some sort. So yeah, that's what uh, I'm planning on doing there. So this here is the Pro Sport ones. This is the Pro Sport Evo. Uh, the Evo electrical oil pressure Y band and boost gauge. Um, I just thought it was ironic because well, I don't drive an Evo, so I got those ones. Um, I haven't heard anything bad or good about Pro Sport, so I'm not really sure how well they'll hold up. I hope they hold up quite well because they were rather expensive. So uh, yeah, and they're quite a hefty gauge there. It's got a metal ring around it, plastic. Sound feels pretty well made, so not cheap at all. So you got your, you can maneuver your buttons and all that stuff there too. All of them have it. I'm not 100% sure how to work them all, so I'll be definitely doing a, uh, a review on how to work these. Ooh, cool. Alright, can you mount that? Yeah. So there you go guys. Like I am pretty excited about this here. Like you guys don't even know what you can mount this. No, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe yes. Maybe yes. What? Look at that. I can even get them mounted now and not wait for my that's cool. All right. I wonder if the other ones came with it. My ghost gauge did not come with this little feature here, so that's odd. This one, what was this one? This one was the. This is the wide band here. This is the one that I opened here. That's cool. I wonder if the other ones have it. These are ridiculous to get into. <laughs> Look at that. Sweet. All the other gauges all come with a mounting bracket, so you could actually mount it to your car without having. Your other one that's pretty sweet that's awesome yeah guys so that's it uh, that's all the gauges I got my AFR boost gauge and my oil pressure uh, and I'll be doing the install on these hopefully with a friend or I might even go to a shop I'm not 100% sure just so that I have some kind of a guarantee that it's done right because I've never done gauges so uh, I don't want to approach this by myself and you know ruin something or be getting the wrong readings and stuff so um, I can't install them yet into my dash uh, gauge cluster that I have because I don't have it yet. Still waiting on that to come in for more Tiz pods. Uh, but they all came with their own separate mounts. They all came in with this little, I don't know if you guys can see this little picture here or not. That's a little gauge mount. So I'm pretty excited with that there. You can, I can actually stick this to the 
some surface in the Evo, but I'm probably not going to do that just because it will look kind of silly and I'll have tape residue when I take it off. But uh, stay tuned for this here for being installed the next little while. I'm pretty excited about it. I've never had gauges before and it's kind of the next step because I have to have the gauges in order to get tuned properly so we can get proper readings. So uh, yeah, pretty excited about that guys. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you guys have heard anything about Pro Sport uh, so far, I'm alright with it. The ordering process was good. Uh, shipping went smoothly. They uh, kept me, gave me an up-to-date uh, progress as it, as it went. Uh, at the time they didn't have all the gauges in stock so they asked me do you want me to ship it all right now uh, what we have and then ship the rest later or do you want it to ship all at once so I was like nope go for it all at once so I waited a little extra and I got it all at once and uh, still uh, the date that I ordered it was the 16th of last month so it only took a month to get in like today's the okay today's the 21st so a little bit over a month which isn't bad uh, which I didn't mind because I knew that I had to wait for my gauge pod anyway, which will be, they said, four to six weeks for the gauge pod because it has to be built and all that stuff. So uh, I had no problems with that at all, um, waiting, and I can't wait to get these in. So then, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Check me out there next week. Cheers, guys.